Hey everyone, welcome back to 164 land and I finally did it. I opened up the Outback Toys exclusive first generation Ram that I said I was going to do five months ago. So now they're all free. They're all about to get photographed, but I just want to go through them just real quickly. Um, we'll just go right in order here real quick. This is a Power Ram 250. This reminds me of a uh, local landscaper back in the early 90s had one very similar color. It has the roll bar on the back. It's actually nicely attached. It's got the drop hitch. It's got the bumped up suspension there. And this is the only one of the series that uses these wheels too. Okay, next up is one of the pulling trucks. Again, it's got the thing on, on the front. I'm not sure exactly what it is has the larger tires on these steel style wheels which we'll come back to that shortly uh, nice trim it's got a couple chips on it little marks but that's all right next up is the black one which really is super sharp uh, save for this goofy thing in the back but it is the style right now the only one of the demerits I see is that they utilize the same license plate for all of them it's uh, OBT01, so Outback Toys, obviously, uh, first release possibly, but I understand the complications of two, of uh, printing 10 different license plates, so I get it. Uh, last one in the Power Ram 250 is this mild custom here. It's got a, it's got a bed liner, which is nice. It's the only one here with a, with a painted bed. The roll bar, again, nicely attached. It has the same steel wheels here as the power one i'm sorry as the pulling truck just the tires are a little different size all right so very nice and then all four of these in the back are just regular ram 250s there this has the nice two-tone with the blue and if you look closely it has another pinstripe on the top they really did a good job on these these have the appropriately with tires there and uh standard standard hitch there all right we got the old man tan again this has the chrome wheels um, ram 250 again nice uh nice width on the tires every single one of them has the uh let's see if we can there we go has this tailgate so there's no uh there's no uh differences in the tailgate there Got the gray and silver, which is real nice. It's missing, not missing, it's just, this one doesn't have the um, the upper pinstripe, so I thought maybe it was the trim level, right? Because this has just the standard wheel covers, but then even the chrome wheel covers doesn't have the upper pinstripe for this one. So this is nice, the little red and white. And then lastly, you get the two goosenecks, which I need another green light gooseneck, gooseneck trailer, like I need a hole in my head, but it's a very popular thing. So I didn't really attach them here, but you can see the red's sharp. It's got the chrome, chrome wheels, dualies there. And this is the Power Ram 350. So it's even, so it's jacked up in the front. It's got the uh, little suspension in the back there. It's got the flatbed and it looks nice. And then this, this guy here, again, very similar. It's a uh, Power Ram 350. No trim on the cab, just a white cab. The flatbed is painted black and looks good. Again, same license plate as all the others. The coloring on this is a little different. Let's see if I can kind of pair it with a, uh, you can kind of see the, the blues. Blues are a little different, but for the most part, it's, uh, it's similar. It's a truck plate OBT01 out of uh, Pennsylvania there. So overall, I'm really glad that I got in on the ground floor with this uh, Outback Toys Ram set. Again, like I mentioned in the uh, caption of my last video, I ordered them in January of 21 and they arrived in, uh, I guess, April or May of 23. So pretty long uh, gestation period there, but overall, well worth it. Greenlight did a great job on this casting. The uh, Besides maybe the license plates, I think the casting would benefit from some side mirrors because it is a little long 
and on the cars on the truck excuse me on the trucks that aren't lifted they, they appear to be a little flat right maybe the rear wheel maybe the rear wheel is set back a little too far on the bed there but overall i'm very happy with this so that's going to be it for now check out the unboxing if you're interested in some other thoughts uh, otherwise stay tuned for pictures thanks